Simone Biles' husband, Jonathan Owens, a safety for the Green Bay Packers, says men are the prize and black women win eight out of their mind. <laughs> so you was really the catch in... I always say we, the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. It's about how much Bible chapter and verse you know. It's about how much Bible you willing to obey. Recently, Jonathan Owens, a safety for the Green Bay Packers, was on the Pivot Podcast when the conversation came up around uh, how he met Simone Biles. Now, in a nutshell, they met on a celebrity dating app. Simone Biles shot her shot and that wasn't the catcher. The catcher was that a lot of black women got in their feelings because Jonathan said that men are the catch. Men are the prize. I'm going to roll this clip real quick and I'm going to see you all on the other side. It's dimes as we are. <laughs> How in the hell did you pull Simone Biles? <laughs> man, I love this, bro. Man, excuse me. Really, how she pulled me, man? That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. <laughs> now, now you Listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Organic story, man. So I'm, uh, I'm about, I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. Um, I was single at the time, you know, so I'm just living, being me and myself. And COVID had just hit, and but I had just went to Arizona, and one of my boys are like, hey, man, you got to check out this app, you know? And I'm like, nah, check it out. Like, what is it? It was called Raya at the time. So um, basically, it's like a dating app but you know you have to go through certain like criteria to make sure that you're who you are so literally you have been on that for a couple of days man and it's like she pops up and i'm like mm, let me see what this is gymnastics i ain't never you know i, I never really paid attention to gymnastics so it, it, it piqued my curiosity you know so i'm like okay that's 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 i'll see what's up i swiped her and it said we match so i'm just like okay so i'm gonna see what's up so i go do my workout and i come back and i get like i had some likes on my instagram you know and i'm like <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be it. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up. And then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app. Like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this got to be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time. But like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels. And we're in camp. We're in camp. Late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched like, you know. Jonathan, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she, she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday and we, we, we were texting back and forth and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much since COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So um, she came through down, um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs. So she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in I always say we, the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. Is she what did, you said. I was, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was well, Jonathan Owens ain't really want some on Biles. Is and, what you're saying. At the time, <laughs> that's what you're not going to say. That's that what you're saying. I was afraid. I, I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm... Man, this is my this is my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah, I'm like it's kind of early, <laughs> but you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night, man. Play uh, look, go ahead. I really want to talk about football. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell her you didn't know who she was? Um, actually, my question to her was like, who's your competition? I didn't know nothing about gymnastics, so I'm just asking. Nobody. Her. Yeah, and that's what she's like. She she told me like myself. That's one. That's a bit most vivid mem memory I have of that. She was like myself. I'm like, nah, for real, like, who, who do you compete with? She's like, you know, myself. Because most of the time it comes down to if I mess up or not. And I'm like, and the moment where I knew she was the real deal, we were going to, I think she had an invitational, a gym invitational. No, um, it was milk and cookies. We were, we, oh, it was milk and cookies before that. Yo, went to get, went milk, to get milk and cookies. And, and the number one rated cookie spot. Number one rated cookie spot. And it was so <laughs> many, I think it was like a Sunday we went. It was all these moms and, you know, they're there with their kids. And we walked past and everybody stopped and just, Kids are like shaking. It was like, oh my god! And I'm like, you thought because you thought you were fine, man. Nah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. They asking me. They like, here, can you take this picture? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so Jay, what you're doing right now is confirming that she is actually the best in the world at flipping, flipping the script. I see flipping. She shot her shot. She, she, she did though. She did though. <laughs> because if she wouldn't have messed with me, chances what chances are like I probably wouldn't have. I probably was just mine would have went somewhere else and wouldn't have thought to you know. Um, but she, she measured me, and I mean, like I said, the rest is history, man. We Honestly, in truth, Simone Biles is lucky. For what? 
Cause she took a chance. <laughs> she lucky, cause she wouldn't have all that. Jonathan said she wouldn't have all that. Hey now. Cause he had time. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. All right. It matched. I was just the first to message. As soon as I clicked, ooh, I like him. It matched. So he had already liked my profile, which that means she I was just the first. She always say we match. No, first. baby, we matched, but I was the first to message. Yeah, you, you messaged me. She messaged. She wasn't scared. She wasn't scared. Yeah, I, she, that. I, I know what I, I like, and I know what I want. Y'all are young newlyweds. Don't <laughs> let people bring that shit in y'all house. <laughs> now, I get where Jonathan was trying to go. Now, he's not necessarily wrong, but he's also not necessarily right. The right man is the prize in as much as the right Women, woman is the gift. There's a lot of people going around today who feel like they are the prize just because they bring a certain thing to the table or they got money or they got celebrity or they feel like they got the, the best punani or some of the dudes think they got the, you know. But a lot of people feel like they are the prize these days, but they don't have the qualifications or the gifts to actually be a gift to somebody or the prize to somebody. Now, any man that knows what he want because I can only speak for a man from a man's point of view. I ain't gonna begin to speak from a woman's point of view, but a man that knows what he want and a man that knows where he's trying to go is the prize. A man who knows who he is spiritually. Now, y'all know my spirit, you know, I'm in Christ. My identity is in Christ. Now, Jonathan has a career. You know, he plays in the NFL. He's a safety for the Green Bay Packers. He knows what he want, and ultimately, you know, he married his gift, which is Simone Biles. They met during the pandemic, right? He married her within two years of the meeting. Now, you would think that a lot of women would be happy for them, right? But the hate and the shade from black women, you know, at, at, the, at this couple has been crazy on the net. You know, it's crazy how they talking. Y'all got to go on TikTok and, and uh, YouTube and see all the commentary. Just type in Jonathan Majors. I mean, jo Jonathan Majors. My bad, y'all. Just type in Jonathan Owens and Simone Biles interview. You're going to see all these people making, making daggone videos about them in a negative way. Now, these chicks took to the internet and was saying all type of crazy stuff about Jonathan. Oh, he ain't the prize. Nobody knows him. He just so regular nigga off the streets. Nobody knew him before he was with Simone Biles. Yada yada yada. Yo, they was saying some crazy. Y'all gotta go see the videos. It's it's really unbelievable how hateful these chicks is these days. Now, if these chicks would have just done a little Google search of who he is, or you know, looked into his background, they would have saw that he played in the NFL. Pro, two years prior to him meeting Simone Ba. So he was already doing his thing. This wasn't no type of Tia Mari type of situation where she met her husband on a, at, a, at a bus stop. Now, I ain't saying nothing wrong with that, but this is not that type of situation. Jonathan Owens was a safety for the Houston, Texas when he met Simone Biles. And also, if they would have done, these chicks would have done a little bit more research, they would have known that they met on a celebrity dating app. Like, for real. Now, I heard of one chick on the internet, man. She she kind of rubbed my gears. Man. I'm like, why would she say that? She say, she, here she go. Simone Biles must be a desperate black woman because she shot her shot at him first. Man, shut up. Just shut up. Man, listen. Listen, listen, listen here. I want you to hear this out, ma'am. Just hear this out. She shot her shot and ended up married. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of you chicks get your club shot up and end up baby mamas. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Y'all get your club shot up and end up baby mamas. So it's definitely a win for Simone Biles because he didn't make her a baby daddy before he made her a wife. He made her a wife first and they don't have any kids yet, but I'm sure kids is on the way. Y'all are baby mamas and y'all ain't even wives. So I don't even want to hear y'all saying anything about her relationship at this point, man. Just look at this young lady. Look at her. She is glowing. That dude, that look like a woman face that, that's, that, that, that looks desperate or that's hurt or that's traumatized. That's, look, look how she looks at that man. She's in a beautiful place 
with him and, her, and their relationship in their marriage. Real rap. Y'all just need to get out of their business and l allow them to do their thing with their marriage. A lot of y'all ain't even in relationships because y'all too judgmental. No, I ain't even gonna go there. Now, Priscilla the Queen Maker. Y'all know the lesbian who hate men. And I don't even know why y'all call her the queen maker because in my honest opinion, she make more single women than anything. She don't make queens. She makes single women. You know what I mean? Because all she do is give y'all some messed up ideology about men who she don't date because she only date women, but she's selling y'all wolf tickets and y'all just eating it up. You know what I mean? But, but anyway, in my honest opinion, she is the female version of, a, of Charleston White. They both play a role for the internet because they are making a lot of money off y'all. Y'all are entertained by them. And they capitalizing off of it. They monetizing off of it. I don't knock them though. I knock y'all who's following them because it's obvious that they are a character. We, now, we see now, now not only them because we do see a lot of women making content around hating men and vice versa. The men is making a lot of content you know, in regards to hating women and relationship stuff. That's another topic for another day. But Priscilla took to her TikTok, you know, to talk real crazy about Jonathan Owens. She's pretty much insinuating that he only married Simone Biles because she's more of a celebrity than he is. She's more of, she have more popularity than he is. Um, um, and she's pretty much saying that he's just solidifying his spot with her so he can secure her bag once things is over for him. Man, y'all, let's, let's look at this clip. Exactly what I see because a lot of people are tripping over him. I actually don't see him as the problem. I see her as the problem. Let me tell you why. I ain't never heard his name. And there's plenty of people that I've heard of even though I don't watch football. So first and foremost, he says that he didn't know who she was. Now that's plausible that he might have not known who she was. But he then says that he saw how many followers she had and she must be good or somebody. Me knowing men and knowing that he's not as popular as she is, this is a way for him to attach himself to something that's even bigger than he is to boost himself up. So it ain't really no love and no real like for this person here. This is all a game. And he let it be known that it was a game of power as he did that interview, diminishing her publicly, letting the world know he ain't know her and how she drove 45 minutes to see him, which corroborates him being the prize as she, who is the seven time Olympic medalist, pursues Mr. Unknown here. He didn't drive to see her. So what this tells me is that even though she is successful in her field, her self-esteem and her self-worth is not as high as you would think it would be. Because society tells you that no matter what you achieve as a woman, your life ain't complete. And it don't really mean that much unless you have a man. And so women will jump through hoops and hurdles to attach themselves to men who really don't even compliment them. He let the world know how much more mentally powerful he is than she is because they never cease an opportunity to put themselves on a pedestal to conquer you. Because typically predators have to go hunt for their prey. What he said is the prey just ended right up in his den and he ain't have to do nothing because he the man. That ain't on him, that's on Simone. See, it's women like her who keeps a lot of you women single. And y'all gonna be single for the rest of your life with 30 cats and 10 dogs. Real rap. Just listen to what she's saying. She prey on y'all emotions. First, she don't even date men. I know I just said that. She's a lesbian. And secondly, she know how weak emotional women can be. So she prey on y'all emotions. She sell y'all books and, 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 and get on the internet. Y'all give her gifts on TikTok and all her social media is going crazy. She's monetizing all her pages. She's getting a lot of money off of y'all just preying on y'all emotions. And here, here's the crazy thing. In the business world, you know what they say about black women? They say you can sell anything to a black woman as long as you appeal to her emotions. And guess who tapped into that? Priscilla the Queen Maker, folk like uh, Steve Harvey, and all the other panderers. At the end of the day, how come y'all just can't be happy for Simone Biles and her husband, Jonathan Owens? You know what I mean? 
They got married before they had kids and started a family. They, you know, they did it the right way. He's rich. She's rich. Do y'all really think that they care about who's popular between them both? Really? Y'all, y'all, y'all really believe that? Y'all really believe that they worried about who's bringing in more money than the other person? Listen, here's the thing. I'm a, nothing is never equal. Y'all need to stop with this whole equality thing. Somebody is always going to be making more than the other. If you're in a relationship, the spouse, one spouse is going to be making more than the other spouse, whether it's the man or the woman. That's just how it goes. Nothing is never equal. There's a hierarchy chain in everything. But that's another topic for another day, too. A lot of you chicks are just smack dab out of your mind delusional. If it ain't one thing, it's another with a lot of you chicks. Misery loves company. And y'all just want Simone Biles to be a miserable black woman just like y'all. At the end of the day, y'all are miserable, broken, busting, and, dis and disgusted. And y'all want Simone Biles to be the same way. And she like, nah, I ain't going to be that way. That's why I like what she said on her Twitter. She said, are y'all done yet? <laughs> I love her response, man. I find it amazing that a lot of black women say they support black women. But soon as a black woman get in a, a, a relationship, get married, or say she, she love her man and she support her man and, and his goals and all that stuff, y'all go behind her and start throwing shade at her, throwing hate at her, and saying she's a pick me, she's this, she's that, she's insecure. That's what y'all, how, so how y'all supporting black women when y'all ain't even supporting a black woman who's married? She got married before she had kids. They are both established in their careers. They both making good money. How come y'all just can't be happy for her and support what she got going on? But now nah, all y'all want to do is throw shade and hate at them. And we see Simone Biles and her husband doing very good on the surface. Now, Channing from The Pivot, you know, who conducted that whole that whole interview with them, and you know, that went viral when because they took a, just that one little clip. A lot of people didn't watch the whole um, um, uh, video. They didn't watch the whole podcast. I did. I think it was dope. And he and Jonathan Myers, I mean, Jonathan Myers, Jonathan Owens through the whole podcast really was big enough his wife. Real life, real rap. And he said that, you know, she supports him and he supports her. Yeah, I mean, but um, Shannon took to his his uh, his podcast. I mean, took to his social media and made this video. He was telling the story of the way he met his wife, Simone Biles, on our show. And she was also there. And he told this story with so much love in their eyes. And every time they looked at one another, you can tell how beautiful it was to them. But everyone is now twisted and taken that and made it something negative. What people haven't done is watch the entire show. Watch him say that she wasn't scared and that once they finally went on a date, it was history from there. Or listen to him talk about their 2020 conversation while she was at the Olympics as he encouraged her that she could be OK. And when she wasn't, the time he took away with her, even getting married during that time. And now Simone Biles is back to the Simone Biles we know. He talked about the way Simone Biles has changed his life, how much. She has helped him how much their love and their journey and their story is all tied together. So what has happened is people sitting in their homes, whether married or unmarried, are now worried about this man and his relationship. Instead of being happy for two people who are excited to be together, two people who support one another wholeheartedly, we've now decided to pick apart one clip instead of learning the whole story. So the moral of the story is this. If Simone Biles is happy, why aren't you? If Jonathan Owens is happy, why do you care how they start or what jokes they make? This is a couple that has found their own way and they found their way to one another in a very unique fashion. And just because you feel like he should be worshiping the gymnast Simone Biles doesn't mean that you can't respect that he's in love with the woman Simone Biles. Man, that's their relationship. And if they can smile, you should stop from I respect that man. Real rap. I respect what he just said. Y'all should just respect Simone Biles and her husband, you know, in their marriage. And wish them well in their marriage. Like, real rap. Y'all should be happy for them. You know what I mean? Let them go off and do their thing in peace. Let them be who they are. Let their relationship establish, you know, get established. You know what I mean? They still young. You know what I mean? Just be happy for them. 
That's it. I know like that old saying says, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Real rap. Hey, man, I thank y'all for rocking out with me. It's your boy, Reese Johnson. This is the Gutter and Sing Podcast. Do something for the podcast today, man. And go to our merch store, gasmerch.com. Gasmerch.com, and we got some of the dopest hoodies. We got some of the dopest t-shirts. We got some of the dopest, you know, sweatshirts, hats, and all that. You know what I mean? Go to gasmerch.com and support the podcast, and I'll holler at y'all on the flip. Peace. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know. It's about how much Bible you willing to obey. Pray, preach.